Probably the most familiar uh, passage in all of the uh, New Testament is the parable of the sower. And Jesus tells this parable, and we're going to be looking at this in uh, Luke 8 and verse 4 and following. But the sower is very simple. The sower goes out to sow some seed. Some falls upon rocky ground. It doesn't do any good. Uh, and it was uh, some, you know, beside the road was trampled underfoot. Some uh, was sown, the birds came and ate it up. Others fell on rocky soil and grew up a little bit, but withered away. And then some fell among the thorns and it was choked away. And some fell on good ground and it had an e increase and produced a great crop. Well, we don't have to know much about agriculture to know that if you sow seed, something good is supposed to happen. It's supposed to grow up and produce fruit and to be good. But he said, this is like the life. He said, the word of God is sown and some people don't receive it at all. They don't care about it or whatever. Uh, some people are interested for a little while, but you know, uh, it, they kind of fade away. They're not interested for too long. And then some people, it sort of takes root and then they kind of get, you know, a life change or something happens. And he says, the cares of the world come and just kind of choke it out. And uh, that's, you know, that's the way it is. And uh, then he says, but some fall upon good ground. And then he explains it. He doesn't explain any of the parables except this. He explains this parable for what it means because the disciples evidently, you know, weren't there. I think three things come into my mind. First of all, it's the word of God. That's the seed. And God has sent his word, and the word of the word is Jesus Christ, of course. But we have the scripture. That's the word of God to us. And then we have the word of God that's preached to us and taught us and proclaimed to us, if you will. So we read it. We hear it. It's preached to us. Um, you know, we, we imbibe it, the word of God. The question is, is what happens? Well, somebody's got to deliver that word. So somebody gives you a Bible, or you go and get to that word, or somebody preaches to you. Uh, or they share with you or whatever, and the Word of God has an effect. It, one effect is no effect. We read it, we just read it, and we hear it. It doesn't mean, any, doesn't mean anything to us. So the work that has to go on, that's really our purpose as Christians. I'll get back to that in a minute. But And then there's a response. So the Word of God always calls for a response, and that response is uh, interesting. So the Word is God's provision to us, as we share the word of God as believers in churches and denominations and whatever, that's our work to make sure everybody hears the wonderful word of Jesus Christ. But the response, the hearer's response is really their responsibility. So what should we do? We should pray that more people go and share the word of God and we should pray for opportunities to share the word of God and we should pray for people to respond to the word of God, which brings life, the living Word of God. Do that today. Let it be alive in you and be ready to share it with anybody you see. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for the Word of God. Thank you for the opportunity we have to share the Word of God. And I pray, Father, for people to respond to us as we seek to do that this week. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. See you next week.